today's video, I actually have like a revision tips kind of video. A lot of my viewers are still quite young and are still within education and are going to be sitting their exams soon because I know like last year, this time last year, I was flat out revision because I knew that my exams were like at the start of May. Whereas this year my exams don't start till June, so I kind of have a little bit more time this year. However, I do know that a lot of my viewers are still at school or still at education, like upper sec, lower sec, GCSE level or even university. And what I want to do is just talk through some of my revision tips and just little things that I find help me when revising and just help me succeed with my exams and just make it a lot more enjoyable if that's a thing with exams. So for this video I've actually teamed up with a really cool app called Gojimo. So pretty much Gojimo is an app that you can purchase on the app store, it's free which is amazing and it pretty much has a lot of different sections, it has all the different exam boards from like a lot of different countries as well because I do know that quite a lot of my viewers are from the US or like China and stuff like that and they have all the different exam boards and you're able to go in and select what exam board you're doing, what subjects you're taking and then you're able to select like different sections based around that like for example say you're sitting a English literature exam at GCSE level you can go in and click GCSE or SEA or APA with your exam board and then click of my submit and then a quiz comes up and it's just a really really good way of revising so because it is an app you're able just to kind of sit wherever you want like say you're on the bus or on the toilet or I don't know just like sitting in your room you're able to take these little random quizzes and it doesn't really feel like you're revising because you're not kind of writing things down but you are doing it on your phone which is really useful. So I'm actually going to open the app to show you pretty much what it consists of and I'm going to take a little quiz as well just to see how well I do. So pretty much here is the app right here. It just has a little orange logo and the first screen that pops up is like all the different tests you can take. It has A level, driving theory which is so helpful. I wish I had a new about this app whenever I was doing my theory because it would have come in so handy. You have GCSE, IGCSE, Scottish hires, undergraduate and then you also have different exams that you can take within China, Ireland, South Africa, United States and I just find it's really helpful that they include different exams that you can take around the whole wide world because it means it caters to a lot of different people. So as you can see here you have all of the different subjects that you can pick at GCSE level and I'm actually going to do the citizenship test because I did do citizenship at school and I did really enjoy it and as you can see here at the top I have already taken this test just to practice and I did get 60% in it which I actually think is quite good. So whenever you click the um, test that you want to take it comes up different sections Obviously within each of your exams you do different sections and different topics. The one I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you an example of the theme one, the human rights um, test. So if you just want to click on that and then again when you click on that there's different um, topics within that and I'm just going to do the roles and responsibilities just to show you what the questions kind of consist of. So the very first question says what is a strike? So I done this um, actually like two years ago so I'm sorry if I get like a really bad score but it's just to show you like what the questions are kind of like and the layout and stuff. So a stripe is a group of people with their... I want to just select A, so let's select A. Yay, I got it right. So as you can see, whenever you get the question right, it actually goes green and then it also gives you a little explanation. So obviously when it comes to revising, you have your answer and then it's also good to explain your answers. So you have um, a little explanation here as well, which I think is really handy. So the next question, what is the difference between a bill and an act? Um, so what I'm gonna do is select... I have actually no idea what this could be. I'm just gonna take a guess. Um, this one. Right, okay, I got that one wrong. So whenever it comes up wrong, it does give you the right answer, which I think is really good because it means you'll always have the right answer to revise from. And again, it gives you an explanation, which again is so useful. What are human rights? Um, I would say the rights that people have to keep the laws in their country protected, enjoyed by. So I'm gonna actually select D because I think that's the right answer. Oh my God, no, it's wrong. <laughs> so the right answer is protections enjoyed by everyone on the world simply because they are human. So again, you got the right answer and then it tells you the one that you pick wrong and then the explanation. So what I'm gonna do is carry on and do the rest of this test and then I'll let you know how I get on. Oh my god guys, I literally only got 20% in this one. I only got one out of the five questions right. However, in the last one, I got three out of the five questions. So that means that you do get like a variety and it does really help because you are getting like a range of different questions to learn from. What I'm gonna actually do is share this on all my social media platforms and I want you guys to actually download this app and do the same and share it with me with the hashtag show you're smart. And this is actually a challenge video too. So the person that gets the highest score will actually win a prize. And the prize for this is you will actually win a one-to-one -one mentoring Skype call with me um, or any other YouTuber that has participated in this challenge. There's actually been quite a lot of other YouTubers that have done this challenge so I actually 
obviously tag Chloe L, Lizzie and Jamie and I will leave all of their channels down below as well. And don't forget to go and check out their Gojimo challenge to see how much they got in their score and their test. So yeah, to see if you can get better. <laughs> and another prize is that and the runner up to the Show Your Smarts challenge will also win a one year's free tutoring subscription to the Gojimo tutor service through the app which is launching the 21st of April. This equates to around 60 minutes of free access to the premium service every week. Which again will be so beneficial because obviously it is an app and everybody has a phone, well nearly everyone has a phone and you're able just to sit and do the app as long as you want and it just helps you learn really easily and I actually wish there was more apps like this whenever I was doing my GCSEs because they come in so helpful. So don't forget to share your score on all your social media platforms with the hashtag SugarSmarts just to ensure that you're entered and yeah. And again I will have all of the Gojimo links down below as well as the YouTubers that I tag and don't forget to go and check out their challenge videos too. So everything will be linked in the description box below. So tip number two is to manage your time really well. I know whenever I was doing my GCSEs because that was like the main period where I had really important exams to do. That was kind of like a test for me to see how well I did manage my time. I was able to use that, how I dealt with that to kind of move on to my A-levels as well because I knew that I did um, revise really early and I felt that was so beneficial because it gave me a lot of time to revise and it gave me a lot of time to prepare and prep for my exams. And again, I carried on those skills for my AS exams in lower shift because having a lot of time just means you're going to be less stressed because you'll have more time to revise, you'll have longer time to actually think of everything that you're learning and it'll just overall make you more happy and enjoyable because you don't want to leave everything to the last minute and then have like zero time to do anything. So tip number two is definitely to manage your time really well. So tip number three is actually to create a timetable or a routine in which you want to revise. So pretty much what I've done throughout my GCSEs was create a timetable um, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and obviously you don't have to revise every single day but you have to kind of balance it out because if you have one day's break you want to make sure that you have everything crammed into another day but I find kind of spread, spreading across the whole week makes it more less stressful again because you know you'll have just little kind of small portions every single day and I just find that way it was the most beneficial for me. So if you create a timetable with the times in which you want to revise a certain subject for example I done maths and English so say on a Monday from 1pm to 3pm revise maths and then have a break for 15 minutes and then from um, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. do a little bit of English and then later on that night maybe do a little bit of science or something like that. And it's really, really, really good to have a timetable in place because it'll give you more direction and drive and it'll just make you a lot more motivated because you have everything written down in front of you and you know exactly what you're doing and it will also keep you massively organised too. So tip number four I would say would be having everything in nice files and having everything really organised. I'll have to be quite honest though because throughout um, doing my GCSEs I remember how I had like three files and all of my documents and pages and essays etc were just all piled into all of these different folders but I knew where everything was but it was just getting to the point where it was really messy. However, when it came up to really close revision time, so what I would do would get um, all different like separate poly pockets and label them. Like say you had a little poly pocket for maths and then algebra and then like shapes and then something else. And just make sure everything is really nicely separated and divided and really organized. Again, this will just keep you a lot more organized and will keep you less stressed because it's worse whenever you have everything just everywhere and you can't find certain essays, certain exam papers you wanna look at. Um, and it's just a lot easier to have everything all separate it out so it's easy just to be like oh I want to revise science oh I want to revise math so and finally tip number five is that I would say personally one of my main um things that makes me motivated when revising for my exams is going out and getting a new paper a new file new pens and stuff like that I love making all my revision notes really colorful and pretty just because that's like what I like to do but not everyone is like that but if you're quite like me and like to do that I would totally recommend going to get new highlighters and just making everything nice and pretty because when you're revising you can also kind of do little drawings and just make everything pretty and again that will make you want to revise even more than just using like black or blue pen so so guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out the Gojimo app. I can't express how much that app is so useful. It's amazing for people who are doing their GCSEs, A-levels, their theory tests, etc. And they have a bunch of different topics on there. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. All links and the YouTubers that I tagged for the challenge will be down below. And don't forget to send me in your challenge with the hashtag ShowYourSmarts and the winner will be announced within the next couple of weeks or so so keep an eye for that i will definitely mention like in the description box when the winner is going to be announced or on my social media um, i'm sure guys i will keep you posted so i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye